Hi there, I'm Charles Nistor and I welcome you to this new episode on Swift 3. In this video we are going to talk about Swift value and reference types. In Swift, classes are reference types. Structs, enumerations and tuples are value types. The biggest difference is that value types get automatically copied upon assignment or when we pass them as an argument to a function, whereas reference types are not. To show you what this really means for us, I am going to implement a struct-based demo and one which uses a class. Alright then, let's switch to Xcode. I am going to create a struct called physicsBody. It has three properties of type string and double. Note that strings and all other built-in numeric types, booleans, enumerations, collections and tuples are implemented as structs. Next, I create an instance and assign it to another variable. Structs are value types, therefore they get copied upon assignment. This means that the other body instance is an independent clone of the body object. If we modify the clone, the changes won't affect the other instance. We can prove this by printing out the two objects. I am going to add a custom string convertible extension to our struct. This allows us to define a custom description for our objects. The memory addresses of the two physics body instances are different. To prove this, I am going to create a helper class for extracting memory addresses. The memory util class exposes a static method called address, which accepts an unsafe row pointer as an argument and returns a string which contains the formatted memory address. The method uses the unsafe bitcast function to extract the memory address from the provided unsafe row pointer argument. As a side note, I am using the unsafe bitcast function solely for demonstration purposes. You should avoid relying on it in production code. Ok, so let's print out the memory address of our physics body instances. We can clearly see now that they are indeed different. Now, let's switch to a class based implementation. I am going to create a vehicle class which has the same properties as a physics body struct. Let's adopt the custom string convertible protocol right away to override the default description. Next, I create a vehicle object and assign it to another variable called truck. Vehicle is a class, a reference type, which won't be copied when assigning it to another variable. Basically, we have now two variables pointing to the same object. If we modify any of the two, the change will affect the other one, since they refer to the same memory location. Indeed, after modifying the truck variable, the car variable changes too. Let's inspect their memory addresses. For that, I am going to add another method to our memory util class. The generic method will return the textual representation of the memory address of a reference type. It relies on the same unsafe bitcast function as its sibling. Now I can print the memory addresses of the car and the truck object. As we expected, they are the same. To recap, classes won't be copied when assigning them to a new variable or when we pass them as an argument to a method or a function. This means that the receiver can modify the referenced object. If we want to prevent this, consider using value types. Cloning objects stands at the core of the prototype design pattern. Value types support the prototype pattern for free, whereas we need to implement it for classes. Check out my Plural site course to find out more about the prototype pattern and all the other creational patterns implemented in Swift. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are interested in Swift 3 related videos. I plan to add new videos about interesting topics on a regular basis. Also, feel free to visit my website and check out my apps, my online courses and other cool stuff. Take care!